today is Thursday. Up until this point, I um, I try to keep it almost like a joke, but I would um, I would be lying if I didn't tell the truth. I'm really struggling. I'm living a lot of fake it till you make it. But to be honest, I don't see or I don't feel the um to you make it part coming. This is the most light I have seen in a week outside of leaving the house for radiation. I don't come out of my room. I want to give up. But I can't. I don't know what to do. I keep trying to smile. But that shit is getting hard. I joke a lot to pretend like I'm okay. Those that are close to me, um, they, they all got their own shit. So, I don't feel like I can say how I feel because you know, I'm just adding to it, you know. And that's to me that's selfish because I'm just adding to what they're going through. I keep asking myself, what's the point at this point? If in the past 365 days. I've had seven strokes, heart failure, and now I have stage two cancer. <laughs> what actually is the point? Well, just tough it out. What? I actually had someone say that to me. Just tough it out. I had been toughing it for a year. Is it okay to be angry? Like, I try not. I don't want to be bitter. But I'm still left thinking, what the fuck is the point? Because I'm thinking, I'm doing the chemo and the radiation. <sighs> I'm going to get through this. What's next? Because I already know something else is going to happen. I'm not going to be happy for long. What's next? Is that weird? Am I being like doing a pity party thing? If I am, please let me shut the fuck up. And I won't be mad, like for real. My own boy. I call him Big Back No Neck. For real, I do call him that. Big Back No Neck. He is probably one of the rudest people I know. But that's how he shows his love. He's very straightforward and direct. When I'm, I need that sometimes. So right now, if I sound like I'm doing a pity party, just tell me. I'm trying to shake this shit off. I swear to God, I'm trying. Like I said before, uh, I think it was my first video, or was the second one? I'm going to be honest. I was asked the point or why I'm doing these videos. 
mainly because most people don't know what it's like to deal with cancer. Hell, I didn't know beforehand. So, seeing someone deal with it, or watching someone, me, you can, um, you can understand it better. So, if you have someone that's going through it, or in the future, someone that goes through it, you can emphasize with them on a different level, you know? So, that's the point in these videos. More of a educational thing in my book, from my perspective. But, if it comes off like a pity party, or like I'm doing like a woe is me, lick me, hug me, love me, tell me please, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now. Week three. Radiation is officially set in, but the radiation that they're doing is focalized on the bottom half. So my hair on my head is not really affected. That's not to say that I won't lose my hair on my head eventually, but hopefully that won't happen. I'm tired all the time. Trying to close a car door, open a car door, is exhausting. Walking down the hall is a marathon. I have to eat twice as much because chemo and radiation burn calories. So in a week, I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> a nurse said, dang, I wish I could do that. I said, well, bitch, I ain't tried to. Hell, I ain't call it bitch to her face, but I was thinking, you know. <laughs> if I lose this fight, which means I didn't know I tried. I have one blood brother and one brother that I forget is not biological. When I say I forget, I honestly have to remind myself, like I tell my child, call your uncle and she'll call my blood brother I'm like no your other one oh, the other one I see the way my struggling rips them up and that hurts any suggestions on avoiding those thoughts or coping those thoughts or avoiding those thoughts anything let me know until then I'm done rambling for now that's my little update I will um probably do another one another video in the next day or day or two I'm trying to shake this shit. According to the doctors, I have a month left to clear everything up, not to live. Sorry, that doesn't sound good at all. Let me back that up. Um, I have a month left of treatment before they retest and see where I'm at. If I'm Sounding like a pity party or I'm tripping, please, just, just say shut the fuck up. Yeah.